Hi, it's Ray Mills. I'm your VBA craftsman. Today, I want to show you um, how to improve the speed of your code. So most of us, when we start writing uh, Visual Basic for applications, we duplicate the steps we take uh, when we're actually working with the spreadsheet manually. That is, if we want to go someplace, well, we, we point at it and we go there, right? We, if you want to go to another, uh, uh, um, another sheet, we point at it and we go to it. Boom. And uh, that travel time takes time. Now, the machine, your, your computer, your laptop, your, your desktop, it doesn't really need to see the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet exists in its memory. So it does better when you refer to cells. It does, does so more timely. Now, let's, I've written a little code here to demonstrate. And let me just walk you through it. Bro. This piece of code, what we're going to do is start in cell A2, and it's going to capture the current time. Right, time start now. It's then going to go for the from one to one ten thousand, and I'm going to make it fifteen. I'm going to make it five thousand, so it's not so long. Okay, uh, for X is one five thousand, and then it's going to travel to each cell and say, and it's going to make each cell equal to one plus the cell before before it. Okay. So the next one would be two, then three, then four. Okay, so let's let's run it, and then we're gonna then we're gonna pop back a message to say how many seconds have elapsed. So let's do this for the first five thousand times. Boom, and you see our cells zipping along here, and it's gonna take a little bit of time, right? Oh, it even froze up the screen a bit, but it will finish. You know, it, trust me on this. I know how long it takes. It's only a few more seconds. So you saw in the you saw it's it's taking time because it has to repaint the screen. And if, you, if you're continuing to do that, if you see someone that's written a really cool program, I took 24 seconds, so let's keep that 24 seconds in mind, okay? So, like I said, if you knew someone that's written a really cool application that has automated uh, all that you were doing manually before, and you see it jumping around the screen and doing all kinds of stuff, it, well, it gets the job done. But is it as fast and as, let's just say, efficient as it could be? Probably not. So, and I'll show you why. So now in this next piece of code, I'm not going to travel. I'm just going to refer to the cell. In other words, we're not moving down. We're just going to refer to those cells. So it's cell, this cell equals cell number two. It's going to go from two to two to 10,000. Oh, well, let's make it 5,000 so it's comparable, right? And I think that first one was 24 seconds. So from two to 5,000, this, this cell is going to be equal to the cell before it plus one, but we don't travel, right? So let's run it and see what happens. Bam. Oh, did you see that? It was done in less than a second. Is it all done? Let's just take a look. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to mislead you. And look. So, uh, I think that's that's some pretty strong evidence why you might refer to a cell. So, so this is one of the tricks to make your your. Uh, your coding much more efficient, faster, and, and better, and better. I mean, who's more impressed when it comes back in one second? I mean, all that dancing around the screen looks kind of fun, but it's not getting you what you want. You want quick, efficient answers. And it's impressive. Less than a second. So from 24 to less than a second. So that's really something to, to think about. So when you write your code, what I'm saying is, try to if, if it's a static piece of code, a static piece of, uh, that you're referring to static cells, that is cells that are not going to change, and you're traveling to those cells where you really don't have to travel, refer to it. And I, I believe it has to do with that the speed of painting the screen is what's slowing you down. So, uh, again, this is Ray Mills, your VBA craftsman. If you'd like more hints on how to improve your coding, go to my website, excelandvbacraftsman.com, and uh, drop me a line if, you wanna, if you'd like me to talk about something or you'd like a demo of something else. So, thanks very much.